Good morning once again grade 9. So this morning, we will be talking about similar triangles and polygons. These are some examples of similar triangles. Of course, we have the triangle. We have here the rhombus, the parallelogram, and lastly, the pentagon. So all of these are similar figure. But the question is, what made these figures similar? Okay, now let's focus first on this triangle. So we have here triangle ABC, which is congruent to triangle DEF. So we have, if two triangles are similar, then corresponding angles are congruent. So therefore, we could say that angle A is congruent to angle D. We could also say that angle B is congruent to angle E. And angle C is congruent to angle F. So aside from corresponding angles are congruent, we could also say that corresponding sides are proportional. So we have here AB over DE. It's proportional to BC over EF, proportional to AC over DF. Now, let's solve for the following. So find the measurement of side AL. So, we are going to create our proportion. So, we have here PA over ST. And PA over ST here corresponds to the side ORAL. So, PA corresponds to OR. And ST corresponds to AL. Next, we are going to substitute the values that we could find in our given. So, PA is equal to 6. ST is equal to 12. OR is equal to 4. We substitute only AL since we do not know the value of AL. We simply copy AL. Now we cross multiply. So we have here 6AL and 12 times 4 we have 48. We divide everything by 6. So AL here is equal to 8. So the value of side AL is equal to 8. Okay, now let's proceed on the second example. In the figure... Triangle DOG is similar to triangle CAT. So, we are going to find the value of X. So, again, we are going to create our proportional equation. So, we have here DO over DG. So, DO there corresponds to side CA. And DG corresponds to side CT. So, DO is equal to 16 over X. And CA is equal to 8 over 10. Now we cross multiply. 16 times 10, that is 160. X times 8, that is 8X. Divide everything by 8. So 160 over 8, that would give us equal to 20. So therefore, side DG there is equal to 20. Okay, now let's proceed on the third example. So in the figure... A triangle MAD corresponds to triangle FOX. So find the value of X or side AD. Again, we are going to create our proportional equation. So MA over AD, this one corresponds to side FO over OX. So MA is equal to 18 and AD is equal to X. FO is equal to 6. And OX is equal to 7. So again, we are going to cross multiply. So 18 times 7, that gives us 126. And X times 6, that gives us 6X. Divide everything by 6. 126 over 6, that gives us equal to 21. So meaning to say side AD is 21. So that's all for today. Thank you so much. Grade 9.